Now that we have discussed how to look at the HTML code and getting the plain text from, from a website, the next thing I'm going to talk about is how to read the values of an element going based on the tag name. For those of you that are not familiar with HTML programming or coding, everything that you pretty much see within a web page is usually enclosed within some kind of tag. And by tag, I'll give you some examples. The link your cart that's on this web page. If I was to right click it and click inspect element, I'm using Google Chrome to do to do this by the way. We're going to see that that's in, that's that element is an a tag and the a tag is just a, a standard hyperlink. Now, that's a rather simple to create. Like I'm going to give you an example. We'll have um, the less than sign a href is equal to and then the URL name. And then you want to close out that original tag just with the greater than sign. This will be the inner text. Click here for Google and then the closing tag A. Now there's going to be several tags that you're going to find on the web page. This is just the one that I'm going to be working with in this video. I'm going to show you how you can capture all of the links that are on a page using the Internet Explorer that, that application object. So before getting into this video I created the code so it wouldn't be so lengthy in this video. Let me go on and show you that code. I'm using the same user form, clicking the command button that we created in, in a previous video. And the code is going to be the same. You have the Internet Explorer application object. We're navigating to, to the web page. We wait for the web page to load. And this is where the code changes. The very first thing that we want to do is create a variable that's going to store you can kind of say the best way to explain this it's going to store all of the elements that we're going to look at in this case we're going to do object ie which is the name of our internet explorer that application object we're looking at the document and then we're going to do get elements by tag name and we're going to be looking specifically at the a tag elements or the hyperlinks and what we can do is loop through this variable so we're gonna do for each and this right here this name can be anything that you want so if I wanted to, if I didn't want it to be a link if let's say if I wanted it to be hyperlink for each hyperlink in all links all links the only thing that matters here is that this right here is the variable that we set for get elements by tag name so again this name and this name must match and then just close out your for loop by typing in next at the very end. All of this code will be executed for each element that we have that has the tag name A. To give you a demonstration though, I'm going to put a single quote before this code right here. And the only code that I'm going to execute is going to be message box link.intertext and then link.href. Now I'm going to have to change that because originally I had it at link. Since I changed it to hyperlink to show you that you can change that value, I'm just going to change that out. And what this is going to display to the user is the title that the user sees on the web page and then the actual hyperlink address. So let me go on and hit F5 and get, and so I can show that to you. Let me just execute this code, open page. And then here it's going to say your cart and then that's going to be the address hit OK. I'll get the next one. It's going to be checkout and the link is actually a JavaScript link. And it's going to show me the login. And there's going to be several links that it's going to show me. So now it's going to show me all the, all the departments. But what I'm going to do is just close this out because this is going to this this loop is going to be a little bit excessive. So I'm going to close out my internet window. This is going to cause me to get an error. So let me just hit OK. And I'm going to hit end. So the next thing that I want to do though is show you what you can do with this. I mean, first off, this is already showing you how you can capture a specific element and go through every single one that's on the web page. But let's just say that we want to specifically look for the one that says your cart. So I've already created this code, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to erase the single quotes that I have here so the code is executable. And what I do want to explain is that. I'm going to explain what the INSTR function is in a later video because we will be using that to parse data from a web page. But just a real quick overview INSTR returns a number value 
when you search for a certain string inside already um, another value that you have. So in this case, if your cart, this string, if this string is not found in the, I'm gonna say hyperlink .inner text, if that's not found in here, it's just gonna return a zero. If it is in there, it's gonna return a value that's greater than zero. So since it's greater than zero, it's gonna, I'm just gonna have it say message box found it, and then it's gonna click the hyperlink. So I need to change this to hyperlink.click. And then we're gonna exit the for loop. So let me go on and hit F5 and try this code out. I'm going to hit open page. Now the first thing that should happen once the web page loads, I should get a message box in Excel telling me found it, which it did. I'm going to go on and select OK. I'm going to go back to my Temptation Gardens window and there you have it. You see the My Cart page loading. So the code was successful. It, it did work. and So there's a, a lot of things that you can do. In this case, I'm just specifically showing you how we can get the how we can get elements by the tag name. And again, I recommend getting Google Chrome because with Google Chrome, you'll see exactly what we're doing. If we look at your cart, right click it and hit inspect element. As you can see, I already have it set here. We were, we were just getting the href value for the tag name A, as well as the inner text, which is your cart.